What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And, um, you already know what time it is. <sighs> A tip to talk. Already, I know y'all like where's Seth man? I posted like one video. Let me take this earpiece on my ear. I posted like one video in the last two weeks or so. I know I've been scared. Today's Saturday, a day I'm supposed to post a video, and I'm not probably not gonna post it. I'm gonna try to post this video tomorrow. But life happens. <laughs> Life's been crazy, and, I, and I'm laughing about it, but, <sighs> you know, so, a couple of weeks ago, my freaking heat goes out, and of course, it's like freaking cold as a mug, you know what I mean, it's like down in the 30s, 20s, or something like that, and what had happened was, my... Um, disconnect box burned out my wife was home she smelled something burning and then all of a sudden the, the display on the thermostat went out so I put battery because the, the thermostat usually doesn't have batteries in it so I put batteries in the thermostat and then it came back up and then the AC still wasn't working or the heat still wasn't working so I knew it was something wrong with the actual heat so I called my friend out who has a um, HVAC company he looked at it and he said um, the fuses in the uh, the um, disconnect boxes and for those of you who don't know who the, what the disconnect box is it's like this plug it's like this box pull out this plug and <clears throat> you you flip it or whatever to make you know to make sure that the power is off when somebody's working on it so there's one outside on the outside AC unit and there's one inside by the heat pump so you can make sure you don't get electrocuted so the one inside the fuse is burnt out because it's so old and my friend was like you know you might as well get the whole box reconnected so I had to get that done so it was like a week that went by that I wasn't even in my house, you know, let alone recording videos and, you know, like I said, stuff happens. I try, to, I try to record videos, like I said, I keep it real with you guys. I try to record videos no matter what, but if I'm, I'm living outside of my house, you know, it's kind of hard to record videos. And so this week I'm back in the house, but I'm just trying to get situated and stuff. So I dropped a, week, a video last Saturday. So now I'm recording this video this Saturday, so um, don't really have anything to talk about. Talk about what's going on. Uh, Chance on the tour. You know, Chance didn't stop by B&B, Ring-A-Ding, Top Notch. You know, everybody, everybody is meeting up. Um, Mow your yard. I think he had an interview with a, uh, a news company. That's big. Shout out to them. You know, just shout out to everybody that's getting ready for the lawn care season. I'm getting ready. Uh, let me take a sip of this. What am I sipping on? I'm sipping on Bud Light. Uh, <laughs> I'm always sipping on the Bud Light stuff, but the Bud Light La Marita, whatever. Um. I've been looking at storage. Um, I went to look at some storage. It was a fifteen, a ten by fifteen, which is. Eh, I mean, my shed is ten by twenty, so it's basically my shed minus five feet, but it's a hundred dollars a month. And so I was thinking, like, 
if I'm paying a hundred dollars a month, it's actually 105. I'm paying 105 all year long. That's like twelve hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> and so I'm like, man, I might as well just bite the bullet, spend the spend the money for the materials, and build me a little makeshift storage thing. Because I don't need nothing that's fully enclosed. What I just need is something to keep my my some of my extra materials in, like my aerator, my detacher, and whatever something random I'm thinking about even keeping my Mustang in there so I can have some space in my shed <clears throat> but yeah I'm just thinking about like building something like if I if, if I make the skeleton then buy some like um some of that um I don't know what you call it that ripple metal galvanized I don't know what it's called but um and put that on the top put that on the sides make some kind of gate locking it you know it's not gonna be nothing super official but it's gonna be something that will protect my equipment from the weather and it will be able to lock it I'm not really concerned about locking it as far as my aerator and my thatcher but if I'm going to put my uh, my Mustang in there, then I would definitely want to um, have it secure. But that's that's that. You know, I don't really got nothing else to talk about. Um, I got my phone inside. I wish I brought my phone outside because people make comments. It was some comments that people made about stuff um I guess I could talk about things that you need to start your lawn care business you know um and what I mean to start your lawn care business I don't mean like from ground up I mean like if you are coming off of the winter time and you are, you know, about to start a new season. If you haven't been using Stabil, you need to use Stabil. Two things you need as far as gas treatment. Stabil, which is a gas stabilizer, which basically, you know, essentially em um, eliminates um, ethanol from the gas. And also, sea foam. Sea foam is awesome. My wife's car, the check engine light just came on, and I went out and drove it, and the transmission seemed fine, uh, the motor seemed fine. And so, nine times out of ten, when your check engine light comes on, it's the fuel, the emission system or the fuel system, something's clogged up or you got bad gas or something like that. So you put some some sea foam in that bad boy, man. I drove my car, I mean my wife's car a couple times and the check engine light went right off. So with that being said, I put sea foam in everything. If you don't know what sea foam is, go to your advanced autos, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, all of them have it, sea foam, and you don't have to put a lot, just put a little bit in there, and I just put a little bit in every couple, you know, a couple of months during the season to keep all my equipment running, everything, weed eaters, walk behind, zero turns, blowers, everything, um, you definitely need that, um, definitely gonna need to re-up on blades and unless you have some rather new ones I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret I didn't even buy any blades last season <laughs> I was just sharpening them and this was probably the first season I did that usually every season I buy new blades but coincidentally um, 
I mean, it was kind of because I got new equipment too. Uh, first starting off, like like around at the end of the last season, I had got new blades for my Mustang, and I still had the old blades laying around. And I got new blades for my uh, my Time Master. I still had other blades laying around. So what I did is I sharpened those old blades, and I I kept them on deck. And so when it was time for me to change them out. I just put those sharpened blades back on there and then I sharpened the other blades and then I put those back on there and then by that time it was like August and I got my walk behind you know what I mean so I didn't have to sharpen that the next thing you know I got my gravely so I made it through the season without buying any blades I, I was I was real like I like I tell you I like to keep it real I was the type of person I would just buy blades whenever the old blades ran out because I had that fear of you know over sharpening the blades because if you over sharpen the blades on one side and they're not bound or whatever it'll mess up your spindles and whatnot and I said I don't I don't even want to deal with that I just rather just buy new blades so last year was the first year I just went ahead and sharpened it and if y'all haven't seen me sharpen it just let me know if y'all want to see me sharpen it. I've made a couple of videos, but I um, use my drill. It's like a drill sharpen. It's like a drill bit. You put it in your drill and you sharpen it, um, your blades that way. I find it that's great because a lot of people say, well, I use a bench grinder or they use like an actual grinder. I got an actual grinder and I could use that. But see, my thing is, with the drill bit um, grinder type thing, it's not as strong. And I know you're like, well, yeah, that's the point. But my thing is, I don't want it to be that strong because when it's real strong, then it's easy to over grind and, and, and um, you know, over grind the blade down too far, or, you know, too far back because that, that grinding wheel is so strong. But the, the drill one, mind you, you have to have a good drill. Uh, I used to have like a cordless drill, but now I have my, um, it's like a corded drill and it's very strong and I use that and I, I grind out blades in no time with that. But um, <clears throat> I love it. Let me know if y'all want to see that. <sighs> 12 minutes, man, it's been 12 minutes. I don't think I talked about Jack. <laughs> um, what I got coming up, I'm going to definitely do a review. Hopefully, I'm going to try to do a review on my walk behind, my T-bar, before the season starts, and my Gravely. Um, if y'all saw my last video, y'all know I got a new Edger. Let's see if I can get that in, in, in the shot. Y'all see it right there. See, that's why I need to make that little storage thing because this bad boy is filling up. See y'all see I got the um, the craftsman yard vac. Got the time master in that corner. Uh got the uh, tiller. You had the extra lawnmower there. This bad boy is filling up. And so what I'm thinking about doing, this is my, um, I don't know if y'all have heard me say this, but my idea for my, um, my idea for my setup next year is, like I said, I want to get a new trailer to go with my Magnum. Hopefully it could be a five by ten. I don't want to really spend more than six hundred dollars, really, because I just don't want to spend six hundred dollars. But um, if I I want to get a trailer, if, if I if I get a five by ten, I get a five by ten. The reason I want a five by ten is because if the situation arises where I have to pull the five by 10 with my uh, van, I can be able to fit my 
gravely and my my walk behind on the five by ten. But most of the time my seven by sixteen trailer is gonna be with my van. So the gravely I mean it, it, because I'm not gonna tow the walk behind and the gravely at the same time with my magnum. I don't want to overwork it. So my ideal setup I'm gonna have it, it, like I said if, if I end up having a five by eight then that's fine. I'll just use that five by eight that's just gonna be my walk behind and then um BJ and and another guy that hopefully will be working with me They'll have my Gravely and they'll have my Time Master. So if they need to do any kind of pushing or small areas, they'll have the Time Master to do. And my my plans this year is just to go hard with residentials. It's like, I kind of looked at commercials, I put in some bids and stuff, and it's just like, like, like the way I see it is if you I mean, uh, I guess you can get, you probably get other advice, advice from other people, but the way I see it is like this. Residentials are your fine. Hold up. About to run out of space. Alright. Residentials are your foundation. You get what I'm saying? Residentials. Like say you, you, you make $20,000 a year with residentials and then you get two commercial contracts that are $10,000 a year. You get what I'm saying? The next year, somebody underbids you on those two commercial contracts. So you made $40,000 a year before and you're expecting to make $40,000 this year, but you lose those two commercial contracts. Now, it now you drop down to you know making twenty thousand and so my thing is man is like residentials if my thing is if you're doing it solo and if you're trying to do it with a small crew it depends on how you want to build your business then commercials is the way to go because you make so much money on such a little bit of time you can cut a big property one time and make like five hundred dollars you get what i'm saying but at the same time it's high risk high reward because somebody can undercut you the next year you know what i mean you're just hoping and so that's how a lot of the big giant uh long hair companies build their wealth is taking that risk <laughs> Well, my thing is, man, I want guaranteed money because I'm living off my lawn care business. You know what I mean? So if I'm going to live off my lawn care business, I need consistency. And when you do residentials, residentials is a high turnover. Like, it's, you, you're, I'm not going to say you're guaranteed to get somebody back, but if you're doing good work, then nine times out of ten, that person is going to call you back the next year you know what I mean so that's all that's been going on with me I just wanted to make a video hopefully I can get this out Sunday and y'all can check it out like I said it's been crazy I'm gonna try to get back on schedule every Tuesday Thursday Saturday new videos you know thanks for watching comment subscribe and Stay tuned. Yes, sir.